So when you first started, you talked about the importance of run blocking. You can't see the field if you can't block. This is a team that brings the house. I mean, just constantly. So how, how critical is the blocking element of, of your position group this week? Very important. Um, you got to be able to protect the quarterback. And we talked about it. We've been harping on it. And this defense does a good job of coming from all over the field. So we got to make sure we got our eyes in the right place. Uh, just not the backs, that's everybody. We got to make sure we got our eyes in the right place and make sure the calls are up. Right. I want to think about your running game. Do you think, feel like it, it's, it's holding you back in situations? Like, would you good enough to run when you want to run? Situations are right, would you not be on? That makes any sense. Yeah, I, I know what you're saying. I, we, we take pride in the running game around here. Um, everybody does. And we're a good group running the ball. Um, but some situations don't allow you to do that. You know, that's the NFL. So you got to be able to adapt and move on. Your, your film review of Jared Goff's uh, running ability after the, the zone read? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you get excited about that? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. That's a good being caught off guard, right? Yeah, so now nah, he was able to, uh, and, and we saw that on film. If you go back and look at early Jared, early Jared was doing some of those things. So um, you can't just go pull a magic trick out of a hat and hadn't seen the guy do it. So you were able to go back a couple of years and see him do it, and he went out there and he did it Monday night. I like you called him early Jared. He's 26 years old. He's talking like 35. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe it's me. I'm old. What makes him so good as, as a run defense at third on seven? Yards per game. It seems like every year they're always toward the top there. They're also aggressive blitzing, too. So, what's the what's the good combination they have going there? With the yeah, they got it going. They've been having it going for a while, you know. And and what they do uh, is unorthodox at times, you know. But you know it works. So when you're showing uh, the same picture over and over again. Uh, you're showing guys coming from all over the field. So as an offense, you got to adjust because you don't want your quarterback hit for one, and you got to make plays down the field. So uh, I guess when you go back and look at the history, they've been pretty good, like you said, and a lot of teams are not able to drive the ball for a long period of time. They wait for you to make the mistake, and that's what's been happening. How vital is somebody like Marlon Humphrey, Humphrey to their unorthodox approach, and how much does he allow them kind of go into that and do their own thing? Sort of Anytime you can get a safety in this league, that can do a little bit of both, meaning play backer, uh, play safety, uh, cover guys, and all those guys can do that. They're all built the same. So he's just another guy they added to the package that makes them elite. We've seen John being the guy we thought he was in, in the passing game, hurdling guys and uh, juking safeties. But it seems like a lot of that production is coming when you're, you're pretty far down on the scoreboard. So how, how important is it to get, get him maybe more involved in the, the pass game early in the contest? Very important. Very important. We always want to put our best players in position to make plays. He's definitely one of our best players. And we as a coaching staff got to do a better job in putting him in position, starting with myself. And um, we will. And like you said, man, he's an elite athlete. Uh, he's been doing that, hurdling players, making players miss for a very long time. So we got to put him in position. What's your opinion on, on hurdles in general? Do you, do you cringe or do you, do you get excited? You just got to get it right. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good when you get it right. And we all know how it looks when it's bad. Do you, ever, do you ever say, hey, man, we're, we're down kind of a bit and you got the groin injury, like maybe? Nah, I'm never going to. Nah. You can't hold him back like that. If he's out there, he's doing that. Apparently, he's seen something, you know, that all of us didn't see, and it worked once again. And um, you don't want to hold a guy back. All good? Yeah, just one thing. Was John Harbaugh on the staff of here in Philadelphia? He was. Oh, Harbs. He was, he was the, the special teams coordinator then? Yes. Did you see him as a future head coach then? I did. Yeah. I did, man. Super sharp, um, very detailed. Uh, got many stories. I think that whole family got many stories, you know. We could all sit around a fire and listen to their stories. But um, now, nah, very sharp, very detailed, um, uh, great coach, great coach.